How about that? Yeah, I'll take pancakes. Chicken, I like food. chicken planks. Speaking I like of fish, food, fish how about planks. this? <laughs> how about milk, eggs, and license plates? What? You can now renew your Michigan plates at 28 Meyer Kiosk around the state. Seven of them in, in West Michigan. And you won't even need to bring your renewal packet with you. You just need your plate info, your VIN number. It only costs you four extra dollars for the service. The kiosk work for cars, motorcycles, and boats. But watercraft tabs will still have to be sent through the mail. So, oh, so okay. there's one on 28th Street. I think there's one in Greenville that's going to yeah. have this. I go so. to the one. Well, I go when I go to the SOS. I always use the kiosk. I don't go in and wait in line because yeah. it'll just spit your ticket out right there. Yeah, I mean, even with the Social Security office or Social Security. Secretary, State. thank you. Yeah. yeah, they do their best to speed things up by sure. taking a number. You can, right? But this, hello. That. <laughs> thank you. Well, Meyer. you can kill two birds with one stone. That you do your grocery shopping. Pretty amazing. Too. Hey, today people across the world are celebrating Ash Wednesday. It's the first day of Lent, but this morning a local pastor made it easier with ashes on the go. They're at it again. Here we go. It's like your drive through The pastor of Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Clyde Park, right there in Wyoming, was out this morning giving ashes. All people have to do is pull up to the church, stay in your car, just take part in a prayer, a confession, and a blessing, get your ashes. They're going to be holding traditional services in the church today at noon and 7. And by the way, if you drive up there and you ask him to supersize it, he's heard it before. Uh, okay. He's heard all the drive through jokes already. Yeah, right. All right, hey, a selfless student offers up their extra credit points. A Kentucky teacher taking to Facebook to share a shocking question left on one of his students' history exams. The student asked to give his extra credit points to a fellow classmate who scored the lowest. Oh. The teacher explains the test belongs to one of his A-plus students who earned the extra five points by winning a review game the day before. So this mysterious student scored a 94 on the test without the bonus points and his kind act was able to help raise another classmate's score to a passing grade. I don't know how I feel about that. It's a very empathetic student. I feel good that they're a nice child, yes, but then the other kid's not really learning and getting a passing grade. Well, maybe he'll get to the point where he does better and can once again not to be pass a those on. Poor, poor, but I like the paying it forward. Hey, sometimes we just don't know what we want. <laughs> so when you're at the store buying Oreos and getting your driver's license registration, how <laughs> are you supposed to choose between all the different types? With the Oreos variety pack, you don't have to choose. The pack comes with five different kinds of Oreos to dunk. The Thins, the Original, the Double Stuff, the Mega Stuff, the most stuff, 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 it all comes with a t-shirt. For you mega Oreo fans, oh, you get a t-shirt too. You can get that variety, I know who, variety pack I know, at Walmart. I know who needs that. Her name is Nicole and she works here. She okay. loves her Oreos. Okay. All right, the popular peanut butter brand Jif may look a little different next time you buy it. They replaced that J in Jif oh. with a G. The company partnered with the website Giffy. Or is it Jiffy? What is it? Yeah, that's the... Right? Mm -hmm. Both companies say it's to clear up a common pronunciation error. The word, you say GIF or GIF? I, I, I say GIF, but I know it's GIF, GIF. because it stands for Graphics Interchange, Interchange Format. Format. Right. And it should be pronounced with that hard G, right. not a soft right. one. Yeah. However, the original creators say GIF should be a soft G. Yeah, the person who created it says GIF, even though it stands right. for G Graphic. But GIF Peanut Butter says it sounds too much like a J and interferes with their brand. The limited edition jars are now on sale for $10. On Amazon, whatever you call it, we all know what it is. Well, so, if the peanut butter jar would actually have an animated GIF, GIF on it, then that might. Tomato, and tomato. Maybe I'd buy one.